<laughs> so, sticking with the theme of the night of shattered childhood and shitty parents, uh, my nephew Oliver helped uh, me inspire. He inspired me to write this after last week, uh, my first time sharing poetry in a room full of strangers. It's, <laughs> it's called. It's called Out of the Closet. I sit there and gazingly stare at the millions of blank pages of all the books I've written in my life, and I realize I never had the courage to pick up my pen and write. Obviously, not a writer. For that, I blame my father. It wouldn't impress him much, so why even bother? But words are my passion, the only thing that's ever been real to me. They define who I am, shaping my identity based on those, those which you speak. So you best believe that to a broken soul like me, it's your perception that paints the color of the lens through which I see. To you, they may just be words, but if you move that S from end to front, what you really have is a sword. Nothing to be played with, because them bitches cut deep. So before you brandish that tongue, take a pause and think, say sore. On what to say, I couldn't decide. So against my better judgment, I improvised and lied. Change my identity, run and hide. That's the part of myself which I most despise. Instead, I took the safe route. I did the speed limit, put on my seat belt. Checked my mirrors and kept my hands at 10 and 2. Looked at those around, mimicking them to see what I should do. Head down and under the radar. Sure, there were times where I'd get adventurous and stray, but out of fear, I'd, really, I'd never really make it far. But let's fast forward instead of rewind and get to what brought me here tonight. To so say that I finally did it, faced my fears, got up on stage, and I spit it. And much to my surprise, a lot of y'all fucked with it. <laughs> it all happened without you ever knowing it. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Wordman, and I'm a fucking poet.